Hey everyone, Julie here with Equip the Light, where we equip you with the knowledge of Jesus and his word so that you can know him and walk in the calling that he has for you. Today we're covering week seven in the Jesus to Me Bible study in the Gospel of John, in John chapter three, verses 22 through 36, where we cover the insecurity of John the Baptist's disciples when Jesus's ministry begins to baptize people. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always notified of when a new video posts. And please put your comments and questions in the comments below and please like and share this video. You can find the free Bible study worksheets at our website at equipthelight.com forward slash Jesus to me. In this video, you're going to learn how each believer has a special calling on their life, a special purpose and plan by God, and how God wants to empower you so that you can fulfill this destiny as Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit and fire. Learn more coming up next. This week we're going to learn about what John the Baptist told his disciples when they came to him with the discovery that Jesus' ministry was also baptizing people and there was a rumor that all were coming to him to be baptized. John the Baptist's disciples were worried about having less people come for the water baptism by John than Jesus. In response, John makes a very profound statement. He says, he must become greater, I must become less, or he must increase and I must decrease. John's disciples' competitive fears are unfortunately too common among the body of Christ. Our world is full of comparison and competition to be number one. Let's just be real, because some people's motives are to be the greatest, it's nearly impossible to post anything online without someone scrutinizing it, opposing it, misinterpreting it, or competing against it. Insecure people are threatened and become jealous when they see someone else succeed more than they do. The world's values teach people it's okay to step on others and put them down if it makes them feel better or look good or moves them up the ladder. But Christians are called to a higher standard in how we treat and think about each other. All believers are spiritually connected through Jesus as members of the body of Christ. and We're all working together with the same goal of pointing disciples to him rather than to oneself. A person can only do what God's spirit has enabled them to do. Everyone is uniquely designed by God with different gifts, different callings, and purposes to fulfill for the kingdom of God. There is no place for comparison among our brothers and sisters in Christ. Our goal should be to encourage each person to completely fulfill their calling and to affirm them as they follow God's direction. We help them find hope in God when things go bad and we experience joy in their successes. We find true friendship and family among fellow believers, people we can trust, when there is no sign of envy or selfish motives within the relationship. When our words, actions, and thoughts towards others are pure, peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, we are following the wisdom of heaven and can reap a harvest of righteousness as peacemakers who sow in peace. Love one another. This is Jesus' greatest command for his followers, that we would love one another as he loved us. John the Baptist's motive was to obey God and to do what he was born to do. Instead of envy and selfish ambition, John rejoiced at Jesus' coming. John wasn't threatened by Jesus' success. He encouraged his disciples to follow Jesus. His purpose was to prepare hearts for Jesus and to identify him as the Messiah, pointing the world to him as their savior. As believers, we are always pointing people to Jesus and not to ourselves. We are not here to become famous or create our own followers, but we're here to point disciples to Jesus so that they will follow him. God has a special calling, plan, and purpose for every person's life. If you yield to the Holy Spirit, God will lead you to do his will. When you understand your calling and what God wants you to do, you don't have to worry about what other people think or are doing how successful they are or whether you measure up to them because they have something else going on. God has something special for you because your calling is unique to you. So keep your eyes on Jesus. John may have become less popular after Jesus arrived, but the impact of what he did increased people's participation in the kingdom that Jesus was building. John was an example of a successful ministry because he completed everything God called and purposed him to do. When you complete what you were created to do, 
you will know that you are a success in God's eyes regardless of how people may see it. And when you can do what God has called you to do with pure motives, your works will survive the test of fire to bring eternal glory to God and God will reward you. The good news is that Jesus is a baptizer in the Holy Spirit and fire and we need both for what God is going to do in and through the church in this next hour. The fire will burn up everything that is not of him and your heart's desire will become his heart's desire. Jesus also gives us the Holy Spirit without measure, meaning there's no limitation to the power and activity of the Holy Spirit in our lives as we trust Jesus and ask him for more of his Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit that empowered Jesus when he was here on the earth. Jesus is the one who sends the Holy Spirit to knock on the door of our hearts to believe in him. He convicts us of the existence of sin, righteousness, and judgment with a goal that we would put our trust in Jesus. And when the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, he opens up the scripture to us and helps us understand and believe the testimony of who Jesus is and what he accomplished in his death on the cross and his resurrection. Find out more in this week's Bible study worksheet, and I'll see you at the end of the week for this week's recap. Equip the Light wants to equip you with the knowledge of Jesus and his word so that you can know him and step into the calling that he's called you to. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks everyone. Please keep moving away from the door.